TCU heads to Utah. So Salt Lake City for the Horned Frogs. And uh, Utah favored by four and a half right now, total of 49 and a half. I think that it was announced that Cam Rising is done for the season. I believe that's what uh, is has been put out there. So this is going to be um, the Wilson kid, Isaac Wilson. So it's going to be his team from here on. I think that could be a good thing. Cam Rising certainly did not look good last week when they went to Tempe. Uh, but Utah still good on the defensive side of the football. My number on this has Utah minus 1.35. Based on the last four weeks, it's got Utah by five. TCU's offense is pretty good, but Utah's defense is better. TCU, looking at their offense, they can throw the ball. They cannot run it. And throwing the ball, they are going against the strength of the Utah defense. Utah is number 44 in Havoc created. TCU number 37 in Havoc allowed. And if you're not going to be able to run the ball, I think that Utah is just going to be able to pin their ears back and, and go after uh, Hoover, it, when I look at this, number 44 in five factors plus talent rank for Utah, number 53 for TCU. So these are two pretty, like relatively close teams. The issue for me is I think that TCU, now they've been to some hostile environments and whatnot. Salt Lake City is just a little bit different. There's something about playing these night games there, these late games. Uh, Utah is really, really good in these spots. And now you're letting Wilson have the team. It is his team now. I think they're going to run the ball with a purpose. Uh, yeah, I'm going to trust that Utah is able to uh, get this thing done. So TCU, for whatever reason, they just, they're one and five against the spread. Now Utah is two and four, but TCU three and three overall, one and five against the number. They've just underperformed in these kind of spots a lot. I'm going to trust Utah to get it done at home. So give me Utah minus the four and a half on this one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me Gary at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.